Let's take a look at race number 11. At Mamad on Saturday, it's the Grade 1 United Nations Handicap. It's a purse of $600,000, a mile and three eighths on turf. Let's take a look at the field. Look at the one horse. It's 6 to 1, the Therapist. Eight year old Galvin has done, has done pretty good uh, this year. On the five races, has two wins, second and a third, won the Grade 2 Pan American. Finished second last time out by a head. Trained by Mike Maker. Getting six to one on the one horse, Therapist. At 30 to one, it's the two horse, so high. This horse hasn't won in a while. 12 starts. Since November 2020, horse has not seen the winner circle. Only three wins out of 21 races, getting 30 to 1 on the two horse. So high. And it's the three at 4 to 1, Catnip. This horse is on a roll. Three wins in a row, perfect two for two. Mamad has increasing speed figures. Stepping up in class here. Big question about catnip is can catnip get the distance of a mile and three eighths? Got Joel Rosario aboard. I will use the three catnip on my tickets. At 30 to 1 is the four horse, Ocean's Map. This horse hasn't won in a while either. Ocean's Map is winless in its last 11 starts. Has raced okay at Mama, though. Out of 11 races, has two wins, three seconds, and a third. You're getting 30 to 1 on the four horse. Ocean's Map. And there's the five. At 5 to 1, limited liability. Trained by Suge McGahee. Ridden by John Velasquez. Two races back. On an allowance race at Keeneland. Last time out, finished se second in the grade three Louisville at Churchill. You're getting five to one on the five horse, limited liability. Take a look at the six, shipping in from California at three to one, Planetario, trained by Richard Mandela, written by Mike Smith. He won his last race out by four and a half, a distance of a mile and three quarters. Before that, he put up a really nice speed figure. This horse can run all day. He's bred for long distances. He was a group one winner in Brazil. I'm getting three to one on the six horse Planetario. I will use the six horse on my tickets. At 15 to one, is Yamato, trained by Mike Maker, written by Luis Saez. Maker claimed this horse a couple races back in his debut with Mike Maker. Crossed the finish line second, but he was placed first through disqualification. His last race out, he finished fourth at Churchill. Getting 15 to 1 on Yamato. I will use the 7 horse on my tickets. At 8 to 1 is the 8 horse. Foreign relations. Three races back. He crossed the finish line first, but he's placed 10th through disqualification. Next time out, he won the grade 3 Louisville. That last race at Ellis Park, he really disappointed. He was a one-to-one -one favorite. Finished sixth in that race. I don't like that he has declining speed figures. Getting eight to one on the eight horse, foreign relations. Take a look at the nine horse. At five to two, it's Red Knight, multiple graded stakes winner. Two races back, Red Knight won the grade one. Man of War stakes. Nine-year-old Gowden has earned nearly $2 million. 
training by Mike Maker, I will use the Nine Horse Red Knight on my tickets. And at 20 to 1 is the 10 Horse Kygo. Only three wins out of 16 races. Taking a huge step up in class here. Has pretty weak speed figures. You're getting 20 to 1 on the 10 Horse Kygo. So these are the horses that I'm using on my tickets. I'm using Catnip, Planetario, Yamato, and Red Knight. Horse I'm going to pick to win. Grade 1 United Nations. I'm going with the three horse. At four to one, I'm going with Catnip. Hopefully he can get the distance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this race. Good luck.